has multiple views on voters' opinions. From the main page to main streets, District Attorney Ken Kratz has many in Calumet County talking. I think he should own up to what he did and just say, you know what, I see people disagree with what I've done and just move on. He should resign. Some had firm opinions, others questions. Is this the first time? Just because we know about it or has this happened before? Many were surprised to learn of their district attorney's problem. But others say Kratz's choices have become commonplace. Surprising to me in this day and age? No. You would think they'd have more brains, but... Alice Altman says Kratz has done a good job in his time as DA, but feels what he did was wrong. Others who wouldn't speak on camera say the issue has been blown out of proportion, or said they don't want any part of it. Rodney Krause wasn't afraid to speak his mind. I work with disabled adults, and if I did something, you know, tried to hit on one of my clients, you know, I'd be fired right away. Some want a forced removal, while others in the county say that's unlikely because of Kratz's connection. He's got too many buddies in the police department all over it. Stick up for him. Former Calumet County District Attorney Ken Kratz will fight this week to save his law license. Kratz agreed to plead no contest to six ethics violations. The Office of Lawyer Regulation now wants the state Supreme Court to suspend his license for six months. Testimony is set to begin Tuesday in Appleton. The case stems from an investigation into sexual text messages he sent to a domestic abuse victim back in November of 2011.